guys, Carl Brown from Catarlison365.com. This is part two of our classical gas lesson. Um, and we're going to start here. Uh, where are we going to start, actually? So we're going to start where we left off. We did that little ascending figure. Okay, so we covered that. And now we're going to this part. All right, so we're here at the first fret on the the sixth string with your second finger at the second fret on the G string. Play those together. Uh, you can just do it with your thumb and middle finger. And then the open string, uh, on the open G string, while you still hold that F. Then come back down with your second finger and hit the sixth string open with it. Then hit, so you basically hit this G string twice now at the second fret and then open. So the first one you just hit it once then go open, and then twice. All right, and then we have the... That's the same ascending thing that we really ended the last lesson with, so we shouldn't really have to cover that. And then we have this thing, which is kind of quick. It's just kind of building and building and building, taking us to the this uh, little chorus section, I guess. So we have, uh, that's a C major chord. You're going to pick the open high E string with the thumb on the fifth string at the same time. Then descend middle finger on the second string and then the open G. So get that pattern in your hand. Now I'm going to switch to an F. You don't have to full play the full F. Just play the open A string and hold the first three uh, strings down. So the bar at the first fret across the uh, the B and the E strings with your second finger at the second fret on the G. Same picking pattern again. Then we're going to a D7. Now this D7, you're gonna just hold it like a standard D7. And then we're gonna have, now the bass note is gonna be on the D string though. Pattern's the exact same besides that. Then move that up to this G, which we have at the, the I got my second finger here on this third fret on the sixth string, third fret here on the high E. Now the bass string is obviously gonna be on the sixth string. Other than that, the pattern is the same. So we have. And then move up here, the, the, your first finger at the fourth fret on the high E. Now what that was is I'm going to hit the low E string with that fourth finger, I'm um, sorry, fourth fret there. And then I'm, that's with my middle finger on the, the high E string. Then the B string is going to be played with your index finger. And then you're going to go to the fifth fret on that string, pick it with your middle finger, then back to the open B, then to the seventh fret, then back to the open B. So we got. And that leads us into this A minor chorus section. So this is not too difficult. We have a um, open A string, and then you're gonna play a melody on top of it. So the first note you play with your pinky at the eighth fret on the high E string, you pick the open A with it. So I got just my middle finger on the that the high E. Then you play seven, five, then over to the uh, eighth fret on the on the B string. I'm just rotating it, middle index, middle index. Then back to the open A, back to the fifth fret on the high E, back to the open A, back to the seventh fret on the B string. All right, prepare for this next one by doing a slight uh, a bar across the first and second strings at the fifth fret. And then you're gonna hit the open D. And why you still got that bar, but put your, seventh fin uh, your second finger on the seventh fret there on the B string. So you're gonna pick the open D. And you're going to pick across the high E string to the B string and then the open D. And then do that again, but just lift up this third finger. And then the last note will be an open A. So we have this. So. Back 
after the same mel first melody we did. So that's just like the uh, the first measure of that part. And then we have this. We just open D to the 8th fret on the B, do that again, and then over to the 5th fret on the high E. Back to the original melody again. So we keep coming back to that, and then um, this last little bit, which is just open D and then 8, 5 on the high E, and then 8 on the B string. Then we have this figure, which is with the orchestra, which is really buries the guitar. Um, he does it a little bit different every time, but you, the chords that he's playing are easy to figure out. It's just the pattern that's what's going on in the right hand is kind of strange. But the chords, basically how I'm doing it is I just hit the uh, G, uh, G bar chord of the third fret, hit the low bass string, and then the top three strings all together with your index, middle, and ring finger. Then switch these fingers over to play a C major chord. You can just keep the bar the same. Uh, so just... But now you hit the bass string on the fifth string. And then same top three notes. So we got... Then do the exact same thing one fret, I mean at the first fret. And then we have this. Which is just going to be your third fret on the B, second fret on the G. You have that high E string is open. Open A, and then those three top strings together. Do that four times. And then put your third finger down at the third fret on the D, and pick across five strings. We're going to pick uh, your thumb on the open A, then over that same thumb over to the the D. The same thumb, not a different thumb. And then and then third, second, first string, just with your index, middle, and ring. That brings us to the chorus section. So we're going to pick up in the next lesson with, when the guitar comes back in after the, uh, the, the um, orchestra section. All right, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.